Lesson 21. Nehemiah builds the walls of Jerusalem. God had not forgotten his city or his people. The time had come for Jerusalem to be built again. God wanted to help his people to return them to their beloved city, to rebuild its walls and houses and the temple. This is the story of one of the faithful builders, Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a Jew who lived in Persia, in the palace of the king. One day, Nehemiah's friends told him sad news about the people who had returned to Jerusalem, who were in great trouble. The wall of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. When Nehemiah heard this, he wept. He loved his people and his land. He prayed to God. And he asked God to help him because he wanted to go back to Jerusalem and build its walls again. Nehemiah was the king's cupbearer. One day when he brought wine to the king, the king noticed that he was sad and he wanted to know why. Then Nehemiah was afraid that the king would be angry with him. Nehemiah told the king that he was sad because his own city was in ruins and its gates were burned with fire. The king asked Nehemiah what he would like to do. Nehemiah quickly made a short, silent prayer. Oh God, please be with me. Then he asked the king to send him back to the land of Israel to help build the city of Jerusalem where his people had always lived as he wanted to build Jerusalem again. The king was happy to let Nehemiah go. So God had answered Nehemiah's prayer. Soon he set out from Persia for the work which he so much wanted to do. Sometime later, after a long journey, Nehemiah arrived safely at Jerusalem. After three days, he set off quietly in the dark of the night with a few close friends to look at the walls and the gates of the city. He gazed sadly at the ruined city and the broken walls. He began to plan how he would go about building it all back up again. Calling together the rulers of the people, Nehemiah asked them to join in the work. When they heard how God had blessed Nehemiah, they were eager to help. Let us rise up and build. Let us rise up and build. Let us rise up and build. They all said together, amid the dirt and ruins of God's city, the people began to work together. At the same time, the Samaritans lived in the land. They did not want the Jews to return. So when they heard that the walls of Jerusalem were being built again, they became very angry. Together, they made plans to attack the builders as they worked. Oh, look at them, Tobiah, those pesky Jews, trying to fix the walls up again. <laughs> Out of rubble, all charred rocks and remains. Oh, I know. I mean, a fox, if it came up onto that wall, it would fall over. It's so pathetic. <laughs> oh, those stupid Jews. <laughs> but even though they were determined to stop the work, Nehemiah heard of their plan. The work of building must go on. So Nehemiah prayed to God for help and he set a watch on the enemy, both in the daytime and at night. Half of Nehemiah's men worked on the wall and the other half stood ready with spears and shields and bows. Even the builders worked with their swords at their side. Nehemiah told the people that whenever they heard the sound of a trumpet, 
Wherever they were, they were to run to fight the enemy. Our God shall fight for us, he said. So the wall rose higher and higher. Everyone worked together. Men and women, priests and rulers, craftsmen and shopkeepers, each on a separate section. Nehemiah never grew tired of the work. He and his brothers, his servants, none of them took off their clothes during the day or the night. They were so busy getting the work finished. At last the wall was finished. The enemy had often tried to stop them, but Nehemiah and the people trusted in God. They had kept on with the work and God had blessed them. Now, only after 52 days, the wall around the city of Jerusalem stood up once more. At last it was finished. What an amazing effort through God working through this wonderful little leader of Nehemiah. So God's people lived in the city of Jerusalem again. For a while they were faithful to God, but little by little they forgot him. Many years passed and only a few people remembered God's promises and waited faithfully for the promised saviour. When we are in trouble, we can be like Nehemiah. We can pray to God and believe that he will help us. Nehemiah was a true leader of God's people. He was both a man of prayer and a man who worked for God.